All right, Scorpio, this is going to be part two. I want to ask a couple more questions. I want to clarify some stuff, okay? So, if you have not tuned in to part one of this reading, go back and check that out. You know, so you can see what's going on in this energy. But if you're tuning in for part two, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the last two cards we pulled before um, I ended the video, we were talking about that some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the Capricorn here. Um, we have all signs on the table except air. We don't have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius on here. Yeah. But anyway, some of you guys could have been dealing with the Capricorn. It's like you realized that this was an unhealthy relationship which you had that you had with this person. This was a toxic bond. This person could have suffered from addictions or they just had an unhealthy lifestyle that you guys did not agree with here. And so with this Six of Pentacles here, I feel like in the past, this person, they could have been coming in bearing gifts. Like every time, you know, something would go wrong or they would do wrong in a relationship, they just come bring you a gift. Because you see... She giving this person a gift and this person getting gifts. So it's like this person thought giving gifts was a way to make a peace offering for you guys. And you was like, uh-uh, you got some explaining to do, sir or ma'am, okay? So with this Six of Pentacles, you know, Six of Pentacles talks about give and take. Talking about giving the same, or receiving the same thing back in return that you're giving out. So I feel like there was not enough equal give and take in this relationship with this Six of Pentacles here. I feel like this person had a lot of toxic ways because they were busy giving to other people that they could not totally give to you. So let's clarify this thing one. Because I wanted to do that earlier. Tell me more about this King of Wands here. Who is this King of Wands? All right. So for some of you guys, with this high unfit card, this could have been someone that was married that you guys were dealing with here. Maybe this is someone who was not, you know, in this relationship anymore, but this could have been dealing with a situation, or this is for you guys. Maybe this is someone that you, you know, were married to. Um, but whatever this is, this King of Wands, hold on, you guys, hold on. Let's clarify. Tell me tell me about this high here. Hold on, if I even get into it. Tell me more about this high unfriend. Tell me more about this high unfriend. Okay, so for some of you guys, this person could not give you an equal give and take. I mean, this two storylines, I feel like. For some of you guys, you could have been married to this person, and because you feel like this was like a one-sided relationship, this person did not give you an equal give and take in this relationship, and if you feel like this person was not going to change, for some of you guys, you walked away from this person, or you walked away from this marriage. And then for some of you guys, for other you guys, you were dealing with, because either one, you're still dealing with the King of Wands. Whether you were married to this person, this was a relationship, or whomever this was, you're still dealing with this person that was not consistent in your life, this player type energy, this person that was like in and out. So I feel like for others of you that was dealing with this King of Wands, that you were not married to them, this person could not give you an equal give and take with this Six of Pentacles because this person here was married. And with this high offer being in, in reverse, I feel like this person could have recently you know, gotten some type of divorce or maybe started the process of getting ready to get a divorce. And so this is why this person, because you know the Three of Pentacles talks about collaborating, coming together. So this person could not come together and give you this offer of love or, you know, this whatever you were looking for with this person. You know, um, they could not be the person that you want them to be. Even though this is someone, you know, that could have gave you butterflies and someone you truly love, you know, because with this... Page of Cups, you know, this talks about like some type of message or call. So some of you guys, you could be receiving some type of message or call from this person. They could want to possibly tell you about the ending of this divorce or this separation or something. But um, this person here, whoever, for you guys that was dealing with someone that you were not married to, I feel like this person wants to come forward and express to you and tell you about this marriage. This person wants to tell you about why they could not give you an equal give and take in this situation. So this person wants to come forward and tell you some type of truth. Tell me more about the Page of Cups, Spirit. What this person wants to express to my Scorpios? Yep. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. This person wants to tell you some type of truth with this Justice card. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with the lever here. Or this person wants to come in and try to balance the scales. Or this person, like I say, you can be... This person could also be having some type of financial issues or going through some type of legal matters with this uh, Justice card. And let's clarify one more card. What, let's talk about this Two of Wands. Because like I said, something had potential. So I feel like this person felt like this situation had potential. Or you could have felt like... It had potential, but not with this type of energy. As long as this person was in this type of energy, I feel like, yeah. 
you still love this person, Scorpio. You know, and this person wants to come in and give you some type of love or, or send you some type of message or do something because this is a situation that they feel, Scorpio, still has potential. So you can still feel like this person has potential. You just want them to change their freaking ways. Or this person, like I said, they're getting the strength and courage to try to end these cycles of things that they were doing with you guys so that they come, they can come in and give you this cup of love because you are someone that they feel like they have potential with. Okay, I'm glad I came back and did a part two. All right, you guys, that's all I have. If something resonated with part one or part two, comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what's going on. I love you guys and stay blessed.